Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I am here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles, the largest comic book store in the entirety of Canada, and most of them in America too. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, I'm just recovering from a lost voice, and uh, this cough drop is the only thing keeping me in standing. Okay, let's get started with the best of the best. It's here. Action Comics, issue number 1K. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to read the heck out of this. <laughs> I'm going to review the heck out of this. And I'm going to store the heck out of this. All right, moving on. There are plenty of copies here at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles, guys. So there's no need to, you know, have a backup plan or anything. Just come on in. Grab your a whole bunch of different copies. They, they've got a whole bunch of different variant co covers also, including the blanks. They got a whole bunch of the blank covers. So if you want to go and get somebody to do a, a Superman specific model for you, you know, your own cover, by all means, commission that. All right, guys, issue 799, the penultimate, I believe the penultimate issue for the uh, Go Down Swinging storyline. Spider-Man is not playing around. He's going to be bringing in the reserves, namely Anti-Venom. But the Red uh, red Goblin, dude's got to go down. All right, guys. The July solicits are out. So issue 35 here of Aquaman tells me that this battle is going to go on for a while. But uh, uh, King Corum Wrath, this, if we've got at least another three more issues of this, yeah, at least this and then three more issues, it's going to be, no, three issues total in, in 38, issue number 38, that's when everything's supposed to come to a head. So three issues of major, major violence in this. Such an amazing storyline. This is the best story I've seen in a long time for a, a role-playing game. This, oh God, I love this comic book. All right, and here's another one I'm loving. Issue number 689 of Avengers No Surrender. This is part 15 of 16. This is also the penultimate issue for this arc. Um, you, you think that everything's fixed, right? Wrong. Everything's, everybody's going to die now. Everybody's going to die, and we're going to wind up having a fresh start after next week. But for now, this is such a violent, such a, a crazy, crazy storyline. I'm loving this. Um, there's a reason why this is my first, uh, first shoot, uh, blah, the first book that I read every time I go home every week. Absolutely amazing. Also, right here, Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles, Jim Zub is planning on coming in to make a visit from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. So you got three hours to come in and have him sign your copy of Avengers No Surrender or one of the many, many other works he's done, like Samurai Jack, for instance. Okay, Batman, issue number 45, The Gift, part one. All right, so <laughs> Booster Gold must die. This is gonna be one heck, I saw the solicit for this and I'm in love. Booster Gold comes and asks Batman to help him out, him and Catwoman, to come back in time because of a uh, uh, past version of himself, went back in time to go after another past version of himself to kill that version of himself, and they've got to stop the other version with the, the, the primary version. This is a story that you can only tell with Booster Gold involved in it. I don't care what anybody says. I think this is going to be amazing. I think this is going to be absolutely amazing. Batman's not done. He usually never is. Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, part two. This is the second storyline, part six of six. It's all coming to a head here. Let's see what happens when a, a, a venomized New York City, uh, by, uh, by venomized, I mean Venom, uh, Bane. Bane, basically, is taking over everything. Let's see how they're able to, to thwart him. All right, Black Panther, issue number 162. Guys, I'm simply gonna say, issue 171, I actually got scared, okay? Not scared like, oh my God, you know, a gun to my head, no, 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 worse, a ghost, okay? The, the last page reveal of the previous issue, adversary, remember him from the fall of the mutants? Yeah, the, the guy who killed like all the mutants, pretty much, they had to go through the Siege Perilous. Dude, back in the X-Men days, Adversary was the main dude. He was the guy that like everybody was terrified of. Well, guess what? Now we're gonna see vi how Vibranium stacks up against him. We know how Adamantium and Osmium work. Let's see how Vibranium works. All right, The Brave and the Bold, issue three and uh, three of six. This is Batman Wonder Woman. Great, especially if you love the Gaelic Irish mythology, which I do, there you go. Uh, also good for role playing as well. All right, Cable, issue 156. Uh, I'm kind of digging this and it looks like our favorite time travelers Bishop and uh, uh, Cable are going at it with one another digging it 
maybe we can get a Booster Gold crossover with them, yes? <laughs> so Daredevil 601. Daredevil, uh, as, as Matt Murdock, is now officially the mayor of New York, but nobody's told him yet. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, issue number four of Damage, okay? New World of Heroes uh, is going to be fighting Poison Ivy. Good. A brand new villain for him to fight, a new way for him to show how, how tough he is. Is he more than just strong? Let's find out. Uh, speaking of the Incredible Hulk, here's the Incredible Hulk. Uh, actually, so two fake Hulks. Uh, there's the, the Damage fake Hulk and Amadeus Cho fake Hulk. And this is the new version of World War Hulk. Uh, last issue got me interested enough that I'm going to pick up this issue. I'm going to check it out. All right. Uh, World War Hulk 2 is basically Amadeus Cho, his version of the Hulk, taking over and saying, listen, I want all the bad guys in the world, in the universe, to come to my planet, my home turf, and I'm going to, I'm going to take you all out. So that's an interesting new take. That's, I like that new take. Let's check that out. Infidel, issue number two of five. This comic book actually genuinely scared me like Ghost in the Closet. I, I eeped. I eeped. I, I, I had to go to the bathroom afterwards. I could have sworn I saw movement in the bathroom. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Shut up. And, uh, and, you know, no lights on. It's a scary book, all right? It, it, it scared me just a little bit. I'm just saying. So I want to see what happens here. Okay. Infinity Countdown, two of Five? I think we're going up to five on this. This is a monthly comic. Unfortunately, this is not giving me the uh, the amount of love that I'd like to see because we got Avengers No Surrender, which is just superb. It's it's on it's in a class of its own, but I'm still digging this. It is good. It's good to see Wolverine back. Um, what's her name? Uh, uh, Black Widow is back, and um, we're going to see what happens uh, in the future. The current where, where the current Infinity Stones are in this new universe. We didn't know where they were. Okay, Iron Fist, issue number 80. This is a Damnation tie-in, and uh, this should finish it up. Iron Fist's sister is here, plus his, his old mentor, uh, 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 oh, for crying out loud, I'm so sick, I can't remember his name right now, Orson Rand. There we go. Um, Rand Orson? Orson Rand? Orson? Orson. The guy Orson. Anyway, I'm so sick, I'm so tired, guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah. They, their, their souls are up for grabs. So one of those two apparently is going to come back. Or will they both go down, but the current Daniel Rand Iron Fist will go down. Rand Orson, it's got to be. Okay, so uh, Mark Miller, uh, Mark Millar, and John Romita Jr. on Kick-Ass 3. Um, I'm kind of digging this. I am kind of digging this. I don't want to go into it too much, but I am enjoying the new version of Kick-Ass. Um, Iraq, uh, excuse me, uh, Afghan war veteran. I'm digging it. Guys, don't forget, I am here at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Right around here, you'll see the, the thing. All right. Uh, last issue, the previous issue, issue 25 of Power Rangers, Shattered Grid, bad guy Tommy Lord Draxon, I think his name was, Real Lord Dracon. Really cool. I dug it. Issue 26. I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. Uh, spoilers. Tommy apparently got killed in the previous issue. That's something. That's a big deal. <laughs> All right. Mr. Miracle issue number eight. I know a lot of people have dropped off of this, and that's fine. The only thing that's going to do is not make me uh, review it quite so soon. I'm saying it's still going to come out first day, and I'm still going to read the heck out of this. Issue eight of 12. I still love the series. It's just, yeah, there are a lot of uh, action-packed comics that are just hitting us over and over again like crazy but this is still one of my absolute favorites i love this this is my favorite version of mr miracle and big barda um star trek issue 18 i think that this is the final issue i think they would have said if it was or not yeah i think it is the final issue either way um we'll see what's up we'll see what's up um Star Trek Discovery Secession issue number one. Okay, so this is supposed to take place immediately after the finality of uh, episode uh, of of season one. So Star Trek Discovery season one finished. This takes up afterwards. I'm not going to actually. I'm probably not going to read. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I may read it. I may not. But honestly, I didn't watch the second part of the first season but I know that it's completely different from the first part of the first season, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. But uh, I don't know if I want to jump on another Star Trek Discovery until we actually have, uh, uh, excuse me, another Star Trek series until um, uh, they do Shattered Grid Part Two of um, uh, Mirrorverse, Broken Mirror, Mirror Broken, Mirror Broken of Next Generation. That's what I want to see, because that was amazing. 
All right, Super Suns issue number 15. This series is coming to an end. It's gonna go over to uh, the ink label, I think, or the Zoom, I think the Zoom label. I think it's gonna go over there. Uh, either way, this comic is still amazing. I love the Super Sons. These are, this is one of my favorite comics. Superman, issue number 45. All right, so I think this is the final issue of Gleason on this. I, th I think it is, uh, which means that we're gonna end the Bizarro Verse thing. Um, it, it, it's had its moments, it's had its moments, let's just say that. Okay, the Black Widow is back. We know why she's back because of uh, Tales of Suspense. Issue number 104, there's part five of five of Red Ledger featuring Hawkeye and Winter Soldier, but also that gorgeous redhead right there. No, I'm not talking about Peggy Bundy. Um, anyway, this should wrap up the whole storyline and see exactly what's gonna happen with the Red Room. Venomized, issue number three of five. There's also weekly, and Jane Foster Thor is still alive in this. Go figure, whatever, but uh, she's about to go buck wild and crazy in this, and that's always fun to see. Okay. Uh, Weapon H, issue number two. A lot of us had very low expectations going into this. All of us, I think, were surprised at just how good this was. So I can't wait to see part two. Very happy to see that they actually have um, the one to go as the first major villain for this. It's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So you technically do have Hulk Wolverine versus Wendigo. I know not a lot of people aren't reading this, so I'm going to br uh, brush through this uh, briefly. I love the cover. <laughs> I love seeing these two guys on um, uh, Serge Acuna and Dennis Hopeless on this. I love this comic book. Whatever. It's issue 16. Okay. This is going to begin the Will You Marry Me storyline, the, the Till Death Twist Part storyline, this uh, issue 26 of X-Men Gold. Uh, I have a feeling this is just a cheap ploy on the uh, the Batman and Catwoman wedding, but it is what it is, man. And we're gonna, they've got a chance. It is Guggenheim. I do, in Guggenheim we trust. I do love what he writes, so we'll see. I'm going to give it a, a very, very fair chance, but I am going in with suspicions. Anyway... Uh, and finally, oh, that's it. Finally, we have the three true believers this week. We have the rebirth of Thanos, which I do believe is supposed to be, I haven't opened it up yet, but I do believe this is supposed to be the Silver Surfer episodes, excuse me, issues that lead up to where the, uh, the Thanos quest starts. And uh, oh, by the end of this week, I am hoping to have up Infinity Gauntlet, the whole thing, uh, with all the tie-ins um, in a spotlight on story. I just did the uh, preamble to it recently. Okay. So, uh, True Believers, uh, this is, uh, oh, the, the, the Hickman, so Infinity Incoming. Um, I believe this is actually supposed to start the uh, Avengers world, I think. I'm not sure. Either way, it's Hickman. Everybody knows that Hick Hickman did the, like, the longest run for Avengers and for everybody else. Like, he had like a four-year story arc, and it was amazing. I think it was five years. Just pick it up. Come on. And then finally... Venom versus Spider-Man from True Believers. Remember, all these True Believers are only a dollar. These are classic issues that you're gonna wanna thumb through, but you're not gonna wanna crack open your uh, your actual graded copy, or God forbid if you got the slabbed versions. Anyway, now let's see what we got, because Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles, right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, Let's we just see the, collect, uh, the uh, comics. Now let's see the collectibles. And it looks like we're starting off with a whole bunch of pops, including a giant Howard the Duck, really? And that's not really a pop, that's a Q-fig, but I'm kind of digging it. Anyway, so a big Howard the Duck. <laughs> Looks like he's a, in a robot suit, okay? Uh, <laughs> Mad Max Rick, oh, that is just perfect. Rick and Morty, Mad Max Rick. Okay, so we got Venom Pool over here. We got, um, oh, is that a poisoned version of, uh, oh no, Contest of Champions, Captain America. Okay, so there's a bunch of Contest of Champions characters here, that's cool. Uh, oh, Guillotine. You know, I should explain her in a minute too. I don't think a lot of people know who that is. Dart from Stranger Things, cool, digging it. Vice Admiral, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are going to want that. I had no problem with the movie, but I know a lot of people did. So a whole bunch of Rick and Mortys here, a whole bunch of Walking Deads here. Oh, hey, guys, they got some Monster Hunters. Look at that. Oh, went up here, too. Nice. And then some uh, Ginny Weasley and Ron Weasley on, uh, okay, I'm going to want the twins. I might actually get the twins if they have them. And they got some more T-Rexes in because those things went like crazy. Okay, what's this? An 818 Wonder Woman Heroes Edition? So it's kind of like a chibi Wonder Woman. I'm digging it. And they got the Overwatch's versions of the same things. <laughs> a little mermaid. Uh, apparently these have been selling like crazy because they keep on getting more and more in. Look, I was waiting for that black and white to come in. 
Nice, nice. That looks gorgeous, that Batman black and white. Here's a Nightmare Before Christmas over here. <laughs> um, a whole bunch of the little mini collectibles of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cool. And a bunch more of the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I don't think anybody was expecting those to sell as much, but I'm telling you, man, people are still dying for more. Okay. Um, uh, okay, if it doesn't say right on the front what it is, and I'm not familiar. Okay, Mobile Suit. So I guess Mobile Suit Gundam. Cool. Yeah, and here's an AZ Gundam. Okay, I'm kind of digging that also. But we've also got the latest version here. Guys, if you remember, I actually did an unboxing for all of these. And of course, they've got the one that I didn't get with the lizard arm. Hey, if anybody wants to sell me the lizard arm, give me a heads up. More of those uh, um, daredevils from last week. That's awesome. I'm digging that. And okay, they got a bunch more of the firestorms. I'm so always surprised at how well those sell. And then what's down here? Price gun to change things up. Oh, hey, there's the little uh, tricorders. Nice. That is awesome. I'm totally digging that. <laughs> And then a bunch of little vinyl figures here. What are these for? Oh, the DC bombshells. That's such a great idea. Exclusive edition red, white, and blue DC bombshells. What a, that's a fantastic idea. I'm digging that. Good job, DC. Okay, we got Supergirl. We got uh, Cesar Romero. Wow, the Cesar Romero version. Only 1,966 1, made. They couldn't have just made the other uh, 30, 34? Why not? Anyway, oh, Killing Joke, look at this. The Killing Joke version of Joker. Awesome, that's cool. And here's a bunch of, I guess that's Harry. I don't know who that is, but these are the Harry Potter plushes, and of course that's gotta be Hagrid, right? Awesome, a whole bunch of, oh, and who's this in the back? Oh, oh there's actually a bunch. <gasps> there's a Hedwig. All right, guys, first come, first serve for that headwig. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. And then we got a bunch more. Oh, look at this. Got a bunch of posters in. Sweet. We'll find out what those are. Some more of these. Oh, and another uh, Hulk. All right, cool. Yeah, I remember that one sold. All right, cool. So, um, oh, 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 hello. Why are these hiding? Yeah, Harleys, they're just, they're, you can't keep them in the door, man. That's crazy. And then this right here, oh, I kind of wish this was open. I think we saw this, uh, yeah, we saw this last week also, the Harley's Holiday. Nice, dude. So, okay, looks like that's it. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this week's edition of This Week in Comics at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will see you guys next week or, you know, hang around for the, uh, we're going to be doing some comic book reviews. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.